Welcome back to my channel, Saving with Christina. Lately, a lot of you have been asking me for some inexpensive dinner ideas, so it inspired me to create this $5 dinner video for you guys. So my goal was to get all the groceries that I needed to create five different dinners for an average cost of $5 per meal. So because I have a health background, I always try to uh, balance health and cost. So you'll notice that a lot of these recipes have fresh vegetables in them. A while ago, I created a video entitled 21 Meals for $20. If you haven't had a chance to check that one out yet, I will pin it down in the comment section below. But in that video, a lot of the comments said, um, I wish you had shown us pictures of what the meal looked like. So in this video, not only did I buy the groceries, create the meals for $5 on average per meal, but I also made them and took pictures of those meals for you. Please do not ask me to show you me cooking the meals because um, I've been told I cook like I'm angry at my kitchen and I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm probably just irritated that I'm the one doing all the cooking. Uh, but I will show you all of the ingredients that I used in each recipe as well as any tweaks that you could do. So these dinners ended up feeding two adults as well as a child in the household. So of course it's gonna depend on how much you eat as far as how far these dinners will go, but I think it's safe to say that these meals will definitely feed at least two adults in your family. Not only did they feed two adults and a kid in my family, but I actually had some leftover items from my groceries as well. So at the end of the video, I will tell you the items that I still had left over. I did all of my shopping at Walmart, so let's go together. That way I can show you what I got. But I was able to get all of the ingredients to make these recipes. I'm doing veggie tacos. I'm doing bow tie pasta with chicken fajitas, chicken fajitas. I'm doing barbecue chicken with green beans, carrots, and rice, as well as one of my family's favorites, burrito bowls. I'm grabbing one can of corn to use for the burrito bowl recipe for a total cost of 50 cents. I would normally buy fresh green beans, but trying to stick to the $5 dinner, I'm purchasing one can of green beans for a total cost of 50 cents, and this will go as a side to the barbecue chicken dish. The store brand canned beans are all priced at 72 cents a can. I am gonna grab a can of black beans to use for the veggie tacos, but really you could use whichever bean you prefer. I'm then gonna grab a can of the kidney beans to use for the burrito bowl recipe. Both of these together will cost me a total of $1.44. We're also gonna grab a bag of rice. You could grab brown rice or white rice. While I couldn't find the tag for the white rice, the white rice was a little bit cheaper and the total cost was just 72 cents. I'm also grabbing this jar of paste picante sauce at $1.72 because this can be used with a number of the recipes that we're making this week. For the bow tie pasta meal, we're gonna need a large can of crushed tomatoes. So I'm grabbing this store brand can at a total cost of 87 cents. Of course, you can grab any shape pasta you want. I'm grabbing these bow ties for a total cost of 98 cents. I was super excited to find that my store carried these small packets of fajita seasoning for just 78 cents. So I'm grabbing this to use to season the chicken for the fajita meal. We're also going to grab a bottle of barbecue sauce and the least expensive one appears to be the store brand at 98 cents. So that's the one we are going to grab. Next, we're gonna pick up a package of flour tortillas. The total cost is $1.48, but we're using these for two different recipes, so we're actually paying 74 cents per meal. The onions are priced at 88 cents a pound. I am using this for the fajita recipe. I grabbed one onion for a total cost of $1.19. At just 88 cents a pound, I was able to grab three tomatoes for a total cost of 62 cents, but we'll be splitting those between two different recipes. I picked up a very small bulb of garlic for a total cost of 33 cents. 
We are going to grab two bell peppers at 58 cents a piece for a total cost of $1.16. I'm picking up a head of lettuce at a total cost of $1.48 to use with the veggie tacos and the burrito bowls. And in all honesty, you could probably have enough left over to make yourself a small salad when you make the pasta. The zucchini is priced at $1.48 a pound. I'm grabbing just one zucchini for a total cost of 73 cents. Our most expensive item is going to be the chicken. I decided on this frozen bag of chicken because it was the most reasonably priced. The total cost for this bag was $6.73, but we're using it for a few different recipes. I'm picking up this taco seasoning for a total cost of 44 cents, but we're using it in two different recipes. I decided to add this Mexican style rice as a side dish for the night that we make our fajitas. The total cost on this product is just $1. I was very excited to have a little bit of money left over to grab an avocado to use the night we make our veggie tacos. The total cost of the avocado was 58 cents. I'm grabbing this bag of whole carrots for a total cost of 84 cents because this makes a great healthy side dish for a couple of our meals. So these are all the items that I got at Walmart today. I paid a total of $24.53, which is an average of $4.91 per meal. Down in the video description box, I will be including a quick recipe for these meals, but they're all super, super simple to throw together and you can tweak them to your liking. The first meal that I did was the veggie tacos and I had grabbed a bag of carrots that I ended up um, slicing up and steaming and I had steamed veggies as a side. The veggie tacos are super, super simple. Open the can of beans, drain, rinse the beans. I threw them on the stove top and seasoned them with about half the pack of taco seasoning. Once those were nice and warmed up, I warmed up the tortillas in a skillet. Then I filled the tortillas with the beans and topped it with lettuce, tomato, and avocado. There's also picante sauce if you like that. Um, and then I served it with a side of steamed carrots. The total cost for the veggie tacos was $4.79. So in the recipes, if I only used half of a product, like I used half of the taco seasoning, I attributed half of the cost of that taco seasoning to this recipe. The other half will be attributed to another recipe that I'll talk about here in just a little bit. So here are the ingredients that I used for the bow tie pasta. Again, another super simple meal that you can tweak a number of different ways. I wrote this for y'all as using a chicken breast split up between the two meals uh, to throw on top of the pasta. We, however, did it as a vegetarian meal. I also had written up to buy a zucchini and a bell pepper to um, chop up and cook for the veggies in the sauce. I also had a um, squash in my refrigerator that I was afraid was about to go bad, so I diced that up for this recipe as well, so you'll see that in the picture. But that's kind of the beauty of this recipe. Whatever veggies you have in the fridge, you could dice up and use in this sauce without any issues. But essentially, you cook the pasta according to the package directions, you dice up any of the veggies that you wanna use, cook them on the stovetop, add the can of crushed tomatoes, add in the minced garlic, and then you top the pasta with the sauce and throw the chicken on top if you wanna use chicken in this recipe as well. The bow tie pasta recipe came out $5.73. Here are the ingredients that I grabbed for the chicken fajitas. Again, super simple meal. Since I had purchased the frozen chicken, I thawed the chicken in advance and I seasoned it with the fajita seasoning. Then I sliced up the bell pepper and onions and cooked those in a pan. Warm those tortillas up, fill it with the fajita meat and the peppers and onions. And this meal, I used the um, box of rice that I got and I did a side of Mexican rice. The fajitas turned out to be the most expensive meal in this group of meals at a total cost of $6.53. The next recipe I did was awesome because I could use my crock pot. I took two of the chicken breasts, threw it in the crock pot, topped it with uh, the bottle of barbecue sauce. Uh, I don't think I used all of the barbecue sauce. It was definitely a little bit left over. 
Um, and then I did a side of steamed rice and additional steamed carrots. And then that can of green beans, I cooked up on the stovetop and did green beans with this meal as well. The total cost for the barbecue chicken recipe was just $4.50. Their last recipe is probably my favorite. I call them burrito bowls, but I love it because you can do just about anything. You can do whatever grain you want, whatever veggies you want, whatever protein you want. So for this one, I used the rice that we purchased. I made it according to the package directions. Then I took the can of kidney beans and the corn, rinsed and drained those, put them on the stovetop, and I used the rest of the taco seasoning to season those up. Then I topped the rice with the bean and corn, and then I added some veggies. I had additional lettuce still from the lettuce I purchased. I had tomatoes left over. I also had some uh, green pepper and onion left over from the fajitas, so I threw that in the bowl as well. If you had avocado left over, you could use that. Um, even if you had some of that fajita meat left over, you could throw that on top. That meal was super simple at a cost of $3.71. So again, $24.53 on groceries for five dinners. And I still had some of the rice left over. I had a bunch of the picante sauce left over and I had plenty of the fajita seasoning left to use in uh, future meals. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the 21 meals for $20 that I will pin down in the comment section below. I would love to know what your favorite frugal meals are. So please drop me a comment and let me know your favorite cheap dinner ideas. Thanks so much.